Brian Nolan here with Road Dirt. We're here at the beautiful Laguna Seca with the corkscrew here in the background with Jake Gagne. Corkscrew. <laughs> <laughs> um, just kind of catching up after Road America. So Jake, um, I guess how have things been going since Road America when we last spoke? Yeah, pretty good. You know, we've had some time since then and obviously uh, I've been healing up yep. a little bit more and we've had a couple rounds. We had Utah, which uh, we made a lot of progress with. So I've, as, over time, we're getting more races in, getting a lot more time on the bike and every day I'm feeling my, you know, I'm feeling better physically with my leg and still healing up. And even these last couple of weeks, I made a lot of progress because I was able to, you know, do my normal thing and do some rehab and ride my mountain bike. And it's kind of the first time all year that I've been able to kind of do much besides sit around and nurse my leg, you know, so good that's to get been, out. yeah, it's good to get out and get flowing. And so that's been nice. And the team worked really hard this weekend and we yeah. had some fun and had some good results, I think. And yeah, uh, so yeah, we're, we're happy leaving Laguna. Yeah. Bike looked good. And, uh, I gotta say, so talk me through a little bit what it's like going down through the corkscrew. I, I know every, that's, that's yeah. the faint, world famous corkscrew. Yeah. So. It's, I mean, it's cool. It's one of the weirdest, diff, most different turns on the track. You come up, up the hill, and you can't even really see your braking marker. It's all blind, so you just see sky coming up the hill. And then, you know, once you get your brake marker, flip it right and then left. And then, you know, you can, it's weird for me looking at it from trackside. Like I said, I was riding right. it all day and to see it trackside, it really is pretty steep, <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty gnarly, but. Kind of thinking, wow, yeah, I go you, down that on a yeah, motorcycle, right? It's kind of weird. Yeah, you just go through the left and the, you know, the, it gets really light on the way down. Obviously the yep. front wants to float, but as soon as you dig it into the right, you got so much, you got so much force as that thing, the, the tires and the suspension loads into that right hander so hard that you can get, actually get some really solid grip as you drive really? down the hill. So you can pff, nail it pretty good. And then down into Rainey's, Rainey's awesome too. I've always loved Very that. Very cool. Yeah. So what, what would, what is your, um, your favorite part of the track? Would it be uh, the corkscrew or? Maybe corkscrew is one of the coolest things okay. for sure. I, I really just love turn one going down into turn two. Sure. You know, cause you're going up over the hill and it's wheeling and that's kind of the fastest spot on the track, but it's up over that hill and right. it feels like you're kind of almost catching air sometimes. Yeah. You know, so. I, I was told, I've, I've heard some writers talk cause it's, there's not really a reference point. Right. Like guys would talk about like telephone poles yeah. they look for, they're looking for something in the stands. Like it's gnarly because you're, you're flying and, and you have no reference point. You're right. just like, the track's got to still be there, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just kind of have a good turn in point past the checker and you yep. kind of got to square it up. And then as you're going over the top is just t lifting it up and taking it off the lean angle so it can kind of spin a little bit over the top and then down into two hard braking. And that's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, that's probably my favorite. But look, I mean, the corkscrews pretty legendary so right. it's fun but it, it that is tricky it's one of the it's the trickiest spot on the track yeah for sure yeah to get it right every lap for 20 something right. laps it's, not, <laughs> yeah, it's tough sometimes so how's it been this weekend being here with with world superbike you know obviously last year you were you're with the Honda team now you're with BMW with Hayes yeah is it does that does atmosphere feel different does the weekend feel any different at all I mean you're still here you're still racing yeah it's a hundred it's a different atmosphere for sure I mean uh last year was really I mean it was incredible and obviously the year before when I was like uh, my first wild card yep. experience yep. I mean the amount of support and, and love and I got from all the, the home crowd here yep. and it was it was surreal yeah. truly you know and uh, but it's been nice this year being back with Moto America and um, being with that with the Shabby Racing BMW Hayes team and uh, being back in the Moto America paddock is great. It kind of yep. it feels like home. Obviously, I you know I'd sure love to be on a World Superbike, but um, I'm having a blast riding my motorcycle. Yep. Uh, and everything's flowing flowing really good together. So uh, <laughs> we're good. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> So you got, to, I was gonna say, you, it seemed kind of, like you had a lot of fans around. Yeah, um, no. All weekend being, uh, being basically a home round for you. Yeah, that's what I was saying, especially the last, uh, the last two years. I honestly, I remember those World Superbike recent weekends here. I really didn't even have a chance to sit down. Like I was all, my schedule was slammed and I was always running around talking to somebody and then I'd yeah. run in and have like 10 minutes to chill and eat and put my leathers on and then go yeah. out there, you know? So it was actually, it was really, but I loved every minute of it. Yeah. You know, I loved it engaging with everybody, and I got to meet so yep. many people, and I've seen them over the years coming back and this year. And so, yep. but yeah, it's a little bit of a different atmosphere, and I have a little more time. Yep. Uh, it's not such a stacked schedule, yep. and it's a good atmosphere. And yeah, it's it's great. It's always a great crew and great uh, great uh, atmosphere out here. Good fans. So. Cool. Oh, and so you'll be at Sonoma for your next run, right? Yeah, we'll be at Sonoma in a couple weeks, and so we have a few weeks off, and which will be nice for me again. I get to yep. chill out and do some more rehab and ride getting riding some mountain bikes and uh yeah enjoy some time and get, cool. get a little more fit for the next one nice yeah okay well i got one other question for you quick jake right. that i was curious about so the the moto america series you guys were at utah recently 
What was it like running that whole different configuration compared to the the normal layout, I guess? Yeah. Um, before the weekend, I had never seen the half layout, the yeah. half circuit. Was the west, is the east side or the west side? I think it's the east side, <laughs> I don't know. Right. But either way, I, uh, before I saw the track, I was like, because I heard, eh, it's short and it's twisty, but uh, as soon as we walked it on Thursday, I was like, oh, this place actually looks, it looks pretty cool. You know, you don't have the big long straightaway and it's not quite as long, but it actually turned out to be, for me, a really fun track. I actually really enjoyed okay, it. Okay, cool. And I don't know, something about, I've always loved Miller, but in the past, I've just, I've had some weird races, I've had some bad luck there, and so I've always had like some bad juju there, I feel like, so now I enjoyed right. switching it up a it little like a bit. like a fresh start right. kind of. Yeah, yeah, okay. so I liked it. And cool. the track was fun, I was surprised. I think everybody really was too, that I talked Yeah, to. I mean the racing looked like it, it made yeah, for really good racing, being did. a bit more technical and yeah. kind of for some of the classes and bikes, it took kind of the horsepower out of it yeah. a little bit, so it was yeah. cool, cool it's to good watch. racing, yeah. Well, cool. Well, well Jake, I appreciate yeah. you catching up with us again. Um, Thanks a lot. We'll try and catch up with you again and keep tabs on you later this season. Uh, Again, wish you luck. Hope everything keeps going well for you and with the rehab and with racing and everything. And uh, looking forward to seeing how things go. Yeah, right on. Thanks for catching up again. All and right. I'm sure we'll catch up again soon. All so, right. Thanks, guys. Thanks.